hey, what's up, everybody? So I picked up Vegas 11 this week, and I and I was I was pretty excited for it because of the GPU acceleration. I just wanted to share uh, what I found with everybody because I ran some tests. So uh, I'm just going to basically go down and, and show you show you what I did. All the information that I'm going to show on here is going to be in the description as well, so you can look at it later. Anyways, uh, Vegas 11 has an option. Uh, so if you go to preferences here. Then we go into video of being able to use GPU acceleration for video processing. Um, currently, I'm running uh, one of my GTXs in there. Um, I, I don't know that it has the option because I'm currently running two GTX 560s in SLI. I'm not 100% sure um, if you're able to do that in SLI or not. I think you only, you're only looking at one of them. Um, but I haven't, I haven't had an opportunity to, to, to get my uh, hardware monitors out enough to uh, test it to that point yet. But what I did do is I ran a simple rendering test. So I had this old video um, that was sh run, shot originally in uh, Canon T2i 1920 by 1080 It's a minute and 42 seconds long. And uh, so what I did is I just rendered this into a few different format or a couple different formats. My, my test formats that I'm using are MP4 and uh, uh, WMV. Those are the ones that I use most commonly, and thus the way I did it. I have no scientific method for choosing those, so um, if if you're complaining about the, the file types, uh, get over it. That's you know, it, post your video <laughs> in the response down there, showing me your different results for another format, and I'll gladly post it um, or allow it because I'm, I'm definitely interested in seeing what the other formats do. But those are the ones I use most commonly. So, anyways, my baseline here is uh, Vegas Nine. Um, to start, I did switch from Vegas 9 to 11. I did skip 10. Um, so I kind of, um, there's not much of a curve. I, I can't see, I, I, I saw there was a few things in 10, but it just was never enticing enough for me to upgrade. Um, Vegas 11, on the other hand, has, has a lot, lot of features. And it came with some really good deals and some plugins for free. And it was just definitely worth my time and money. So I picked it up and, and thus this video. So Vegas 9 test 1 Windows Media Video ran at these stats. They'll be down in the uh, they'll be down in the, in the description. The result was 8 minutes and 23 seconds, which is about what I'd expect. This one next test, same Vegas 9, um, ran it encoded it into MP4 and here we got the specs. It was 403. Plain and simple straight to the point. Vegas 11 test 1 with no GPU acceleration. 817 for a WMV and that result is within seconds of the other one. Now I would also like to point out that I did run these tests multiple times and they were within seconds of each other every single time. I just basically put the average in here. Um, so then next test was an MP4 no GPU acceleration and it was 354 which is really close to the 403 that I was getting on Vegas 9 so about again what I would expect up at this point now's where we start the curveball so we're checking out the GPU acceleration um, the first test WMV with GPU enabled and um, wow I gotta tell you uh, this was kind of uh, not expected but it's slower <laughs> It took 12 minutes and 40 seconds for the same file that it took 817 on with no GPU acceleration, and it took 823 with uh, Vegas 9. Same same file format, everything. Now, on the other hand, the flip side of that coin, the MP4 with the GPU acceleration enabled was like half the time of the other two. It was smoking fast. So, um, I got I got to say this this is uh. This was surprising to find out, but these are my results. I'm going to post this stuff down in the description, and uh, definitely feel free to, to leave your comments, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you have to say and uh, and uh, what kind of tests you've run. And, and if you're able to get the WMV working correctly, um, I would definitely like to hear about that as well. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.